Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series of Engineering Mathematics 1. Today, in this video lecture, we are going to discuss some multiple choice questions with MCQs on Taylor's and Maclaurin series. In order to save time, this formula I have written, f of x plus h is equal to fh plus x f dash h plus x square by factorial 2 f double dash h plus x cube by factorial 3 f triple dash h and so on. This Taylor series is in ascending powers of x. Means function f of x plus h is expressed in ascending powers of x. And the same series is expressed in ascending powers of h now. This is h, this is x. Means in short, h is replaced by x and x is replaced by h. So these two are Taylor series. Yes, this is infinite series, this is infinite series. Yes, there are infinite number of terms in the series. The first three terms I have written. So you may write more terms also. Now coming to the Maclaurin series. The Maclaurin series is a special case of the Taylor series. Here in series 1, if you put h equal to 0, I mean, this is a Maclaurin series and Maclaurin series is what? The function of x we expressed in ascending powers of x. Now, one more Taylor series I am going to write. It is again the special case of the Taylor series. Here in 1, replace x by x minus a, replace h by a. Then f of x, x will be, because x is x minus a and h is a. If you add these two, the minus a and plus a will get removed. Only x will remain. And replace h by a. Replace x by x minus a. So this is the Taylor series in ascending powers of x minus a. In ascending powers of this linear factor. This is the Taylor series in ascending powers of x. The same series in ascending powers of h. And the fx now. Here we, in both the cases, we have function of x plus h. Here, in these two cases, we have fx on the left hand side. Function of x only. And this function of x we have written in ascending powers of x minus a. Now some standard expansion also I have written. e to the power x equal to 1 plus x by factorial 1, x square by factorial 2 plus x cube and so on. Sin x is this, cos x is this, sin hx, cos hx, tan hx. Here, this sin h is hyperbolic sin, you know. And here in sin x expansion, the plus minus plus minus terms are alternatively being occurred and in sin hx expansion all the terms are same but all the terms are positive here. The same thing happens in cos also cos x and cos hx. Here plus minus plus minus alternatively occurs and here all terms are positive. Then tan x expansion is this one. Log of x expansion is this. 1 plus x to the power and this binomial expansion is this one, sin inverse x expansion. Okay, this is 2 into 4 into 5. 2 into 4 into 5, you can directly write 4, 3 by 40 also. This is cos inverse expansion and cos inverse pi by 2 minus sin inverse x. The expansion of sin inverse x here, 2 into 4 into 5. This is not factorial 5, it is only 5. Expansion of tan inverse x, expansion of sin h inverse x, expansion of tan h inverse x. Here also you can remember in this way, if you look at sin h inverse expansion and sin inverse x expansion, here all terms are positive in sin inverse x expansion. Here the terms are plus minus plus minus alternatively occurs. Terms are same, all positive, here plus minus plus minus. Now tan h inverse x expansion is this one. In examination, the one of this formula. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, out of this 17 formula, the one of this may be asked in the examination. And all these expansions I have written directly, but all these expansions can be proved using Maclaurin series because all the expansions are in ascending powers of x and on the left hand side, function of x is there. See, sin x, cos x, function of x. Means all these 17, 16, whatever the formulae are there, all these formulae are important. Okay, I recommend you to remember it 
and if you don't want to uh, remember you have to you can prove it by maclaurin series but i recommend you to remember all this form is very quickly some problems on taylor's and maclaurin series and only mcqs we are going to discuss first two terms in expansion of log 1 plus e to the power x by maclaurin series is dash here okay, in order to save time i have not written options the four options will be given to you and one of the options here to select in examination we are expanding this function okay you may be given any function in place of this so let us denote this by fx and remember first two terms in the expansion i want in mcqs most probably first two terms of the expansion will be asked in the examination we are denoting it by fx immediately you find f0 put x equal to 0 log of 1 plus e to the power 0 e to the power 0 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 means log of 2 take derivative of fx derivative of log is 1 by that argument 1 plus e to the power x and derivative of argument 1 plus e to the power x is e to the power x and once you get f dash x find f dash of 0 put x equal to 0 e raised to power 0 1 plus e to the power 0 is e raised to power 0 is 1 and 1 plus e to the power 0 is 1 1 by 1 plus 1 is 1 by 2 here e to the power 0 is what 1 plus and f of 0 is log so how many derivatives will be required so in short just you can remember in this way that we are finding value of f0 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 means fourth derivative at x equal to 0 so we want two non zero values for first two terms including f0 first value of f at x equal to 0 is log 2 which is non zero f dash of 0 is also 1 by 2 non zero then we can stop for finding the derivative because this will give us two terms in the expansion now by maclaurin series this is the maclaurin series fx is this f0 is this then put value of f dash 0 is 1 by 2 that's all this is the answer to this problem now second problem first two terms of the expansion of sec x let us denote it by given function is fx sec x and immediately you have to find out the value of f0 also f0 is what sec 0 and sec 0 is 1 because cos 0 is 1 and sec 0 is 1 by cos means 1 by 1 is 1 f dash of x derivative of sec x is sec x into tan x and once you get f dash of x try to find out value of f dash of 0 put x equal to 0 so sec 0 into tan 0 and tan 0 is 0 therefore it will be 0 sec 0 is 1 but tan 0 is 0 0 multiplied by 1 will be 0 so the first two terms of expansion i want but what did i tell you we want two non zero f value means f of 0 is 1 this is non zero value accepted but f dash of 0 is 0 on finding up to f dash 0 i will not get first two terms you know if value of f dash 0 is 0 then try to find out f dash f double dash of this because f dash 0 is going to become 0 f double dash of x means derivative of f dash x we are using product rule u into v rule of the derivative Fun first function sec x derivative of tan is what sec square x plus tan x second function and derivative of sec x is sec x tan x and f dash of f double dash of x we have obtained now find f double dash of 0 and f double dash of 0 is this is sec 0 into sec square 0 you can directly write plus tan 0 sec 0 into tan 0 see tan 0 is 0 tan 0 here i am writing tan 0 is 0 and sec 0 is 1 so this will be 1 now because tan 0 is going to become 0 f double dash of 0 we have now this is non zero term derivative we have now we have two non zero uh, f term first non zero term is 1 and next non zero term is 1 now here i will get first two terms expansion containing first two terms now putting value of f0 f dash 0 f double dash 
in McLaren series, this is McLaren series, you know, f of x in seconds is equal to f0 is what 1 plus x into f dash 0 is what 0 plus x square by factorial 2, factorial 2 means 2, f double dash 0 is what 1. In this way, the series up to two terms I have written. Just you can put here dot dot. It indicates that a lot many terms are there. This right hand side is answer to this one. In sec x, we have expanded in ascending powers of x up to two terms. Up to two terms. The same problem now. First two terms in the expansion of e raised to x sec x. This problem is for you. Denoted by f x. Take, take its derivative. Then a value of f of 0 you will get. Take f dash 0 and f double dash 0. And first two values of f are non-zero. Then stop taking derivative. Now immediately, first two terms in the expansion of tan inverse of 1 plus x. What should I do? Let us denote it by fx. It is tan inverse of 1 plus x. Immediately, put x equal to 0 and get the value of f0. Tan inverse of 1 plus 0 is tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4. This value of f0 we have obtained and which is non-zero value just I am going to make I am going to just highlight it this is non-zero value f dash x now you try to find out derivative of fx means f dash x what is derivative of tan inverse it is 1 by 1 plus argument square and derivative of 1 plus x is 1 this is f dash of x Quickly, I am going to put x equal to 0 and I am going to find out value of f dash 0 like this and 1 by 1 plus 1 is 1 by 2. See, two non-zero values of f we have obtained. Just you stop taking derivative now because we are interested in first two terms of expansion. Now, in Maclaurin series, what is the Maclaurin series? fx equal to f0 plus x f dash 0 plus x square by factorial to f double dash 0 and like this. The fx is tan inverse of 1 plus x and f0 is what? It is pi by 4 and x f dash of 0 is what? 1 by 2 plus and so on. This is the answer to this problem. X, we have expanded tan inverse x in ascending powers of x up to two terms because in MCQs the question will be asked up to two terms. If three terms are required, the f double dash x will be required. That's all. If four terms are required, f four zero will be required. Means fourth derivative of f x will be required. Now, same problem again. First two terms in the expansion of sin x by two plus cos x by. Here you can use the standard expansions also. You can use the formula of sin x, expansion of sin x, expansion of cos x, two infinite series. You can add and you can solve it. I am going to solve it by Maclaurin series. fx is sin x by 2 plus cos x by 2. Put x equal to 0. Sin 0 by 2 means 0. Cos 0 by 2. Cos 0 is 1. Sin 0 is 0. This value of f0 is 1. That is accepted because it is non zero value. Now, f dash x means derivative of fx I have to take f dash x derivative of fx is derivative of uh, sin is cos x by 2 into 1 by 2 and derivative of cos is what minus sin x by 2 into 1 by 2 put x equal to 0 f dash of 0 you will get and cos 0 is 1 means 1 by 2 will remain sin 0 is 0 means 0 means 1 by 2 is f dash 0 again this is non zero value if first two value of f we get as non zero values then you stop taking derivative now putting this in Maclaurin series, this is Maclaurin series, no? fx is what? sin x by 2 plus cos x by 2 equal to f0, f0 is what? 1 here, x into f dash 0 plus x into f dash 0 is 1 by 2. First two terms we want, that's all. This we don't, will not bother about the sign of third term, you know. If you put dot dot, it indicates that infinite number of terms are there and those terms are hidden. Now. The expansion of log of 1 minus x to the power, log of 1 minus x to the power 4 minus log of 1 by 1 minus 6. Here, you can solve this problem by Maclaurin series or direct expansion method also. 
here this problem also can be solved by direct expansion method. So you can use direct uh, Maclaurin series here, and but I am using here direct expansion of log of one minus x. The formula I am writing: log of one plus x and log of one minus x will be what? Replace all x by minus x. Replace all x by minus x. You will get the formula for log of one minus x means in this way: log of one minus x equals minus x. Minus x whole square means plus like this x cube by three and so on. Okay, all negative plus minus plus minus here in this case here all negative. The expansion of log of one minus x is what? See, log of one minus x to the power four. Term first two terms I will be writing. See, or you can write three terms also. Log one minus x. Expansion log one minus x to the power four expansion replace x by x to the power four like this replace x by x to the power four replace x by x to the power four x to the power four raised to power three by three by three you can write this is the expansion of log of one minus x to the power four what is the expansion of log of one minus x minus x minus x square by two minus x cube by 3 minus x to the power 4 and so on. Now we want expansion of log of 1 minus x. Log of 1 minus x to the power 4. I am going to consider it. Log 1 minus x to the power 4 minus log of 1 minus x. Now expansion of this I am writing in this bracket and expansion of this I am writing in this bracket. So one minus x to the power four is what? Minus x to the power four minus x to the power four raised to two means x to the power eight. The higher power terms are there. Here, log of one minus x minus x minus x square by two minus x cube by three minus x to the power four by four and so on. This will be in the option, you know. But why did I write up to x to the power four? There are many terms. But I know here this series, infinite series, starts from x x to the power four. That's why I have written up to the x to the power four. So you may add these two series. So how do you add this series? This infinite series, this infinite series. I'm going to add. So how the infinite series are added? So write down the terms of x with respect to its power. Means minus minus x. Okay, this is. The lowest power term. Next minus minus plus. This is next to the lowest power power x square term. If x cube term is there, yes, x cube term is there. X to the power four term is there. Here also x to the power four term is there. Then x to the power five term is there. X to the power six, x to the power seven like that. Now x plus x square by two plus x cube by three. And you can add these two. One by four minus one. Is what minus three by four? One by four minus one is what minus three by four x to the power four. Okay, this is the expansion of log of one minus x to the power four minus log one minus x. Now the expansion of log of one plus x power x. What I am going to do? So I am going to consider this function log of one plus x to the power x. In examination, this x and this x may be replaced by any other thing. This x may be replaced by one by x. This x may be replaced by x square, x cube. This x may be replaced by two x, three x, four x like that. Okay. Now by law of logarithm, this x can be brought at the coefficient place. In this way, I brought at the coefficient place. Then by direct expansion, log of one plus x can be expanded like this. This is log of one minus x expansion. In log of x expansion, plus minus plus minus occurs alternatively. On the first page. Yes, I have given you the formula for this. Now, this is infinite series, and each term must be multiplied by x. X square minus x cube by two plus x raised to four by four, four by three, and so on. This is the correct answer. Now, the expansion of cos two x and cos three x. Here, I am going to consider sine two x, cos three x. See, all those problem can be solved by Maclaurin series also. You can solve all those problems by using direct expansion also. Okay. See, 
this is a write down expansion of sin 2x write down expansion of sin 3x no, cos 3x what is expansion of sin 2x expansion of sin x or sin y y minus y cube by factorial 3 plus y raised to 5 by factorial 5 and so on expansion of cos y 1 minus y square by factorial 2 plus y raised to 4 by factorial 4 and so on so you can directly write it expansion of sin 2x will be what replace y by 2x 2x minus 2x cube by factorial 3 plus 2x power 5 by factorial 5 and so on here cos 3x expansion will be what replace y by cos 3x is 1 minus 3x power 2 by factorial 2 plus 3x power 4 by factorial 4 and so on now you can multiply these two series multiply this by 2x multiply the same infinite series by uh, 8x cube by factorial 3 factorial 3 is 6 but in examination this is expected it's coming to the next one simplified expression of this this is 1 plus infinite series plus 1 by 2 raised to power 2 plus and so on the simplified expression of this how do you write i am writing directly simplified expression of this i am going to write here 1 plus this infinite series and power of this in power of this bracket is 1 x square minus x cube plus x to the power 4 plus x to the power 5 and so on this infinite series but here in this bracket infinite series is present but square of infinite series and when you take the square of any bunch of terms the square of for example square of a plus b a square plus b square plus 2ab the square of a plus b plus c whole cube containing at least containing at least cube of each term and many more terms are there means square of this infinite bracket containing at least square of each term see square of x square is x to the power 4 square of this will be this term x to the power 9 by 4 and so on there are many terms the only first term i have it in mcqs you will be given the answer up to 3 to 4 terms maximum now see here there are many terms square of each term is there x raised to the power 4 is there x to the power 9 by 4 is present x to the power 8 by 9 is present but those terms I have not written, those terms are present. Now, now I am going to add these two infinite series. Lowest term is 1, lowest degree term. Next, power term is x power 2. Next term is x to the power 3 term. And next term is x to the power 4 term. But here x to the power 4 term, there are two terms. 1 by 3 and here 1 by 2. And there are many terms now again. Therefore, 1 plus x square minus x cube by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 is what? 5 by 6. If you take LCM as 6, then you will get like this. Okay, this is the answer to this is a simplified expression of this infinite series. And in each bracket, infinite series is again there. Now, very quickly. First two terms in the expansion of log of sec x in ascending powers of x minus pi by 4. Okay, this is important. Here, now we are expanding function of x. This is a function of x. We are expanding function of x in ascending powers of x minus a, x minus h or x minus a. What is the Taylor's expansion? Function of x we are expanding in ascending powers of x minus a, f of a plus first two terms I want x minus a power 1 by factorial 1 f dash of a plus and so on only first two terms I want first two terms now what is a here a is pi by 4 a is pi by 4 f dash of pi by 4 third term is required then I will be writing it 
first two terms I have written. If third term is required, I will write it. Now, here, here, f of x is what? Log of set x. What is required here? f of pi by 4 is required. f of pi by 4. Put x equal to pi by 4. Log of sec pi by 4. And sec pi by 4 is what? Root 2. Cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2. The so sec pi by 4 is root 2. This f of pi by 4 is log of root 2. Now, I want f dash pi by 4. For f dash, take derivative of fx. That is f dash x. What is derivative of log of sec x? Tan x. Directly. Derivative of log of sec x is tan x. And f dash of pi by 4 is required tan pi by 4 put x equal to pi by 4 and tan pi by 4 is 1 the putting value of f dash pi by 4 which is 1 and f of pi by 4 which is log of 2 see fx equal to log sec x separately I found value I am putting here f of pi by 4 is log of root 2 plus x minus pi by 4 f dash of pi by 4 is 1 and so on okay this is the correct answer we have expanded function of x log of sec x in ascending powers of x minus pi by 4 this pi by 4 may be replaced by any other constant okay. now same problem again first two terms in the expansion of root of x plus h by taylor series in ascending powers of x when you solve problem just get to know that what is expected we are expanding this function in ascending powers of h now this is h x plus h function we are expanding in ascending powers of h then what is taylor series by taylor's theorem what is the formula f of x plus h means function of x plus h we have to expand in ascending powers of h what is it f of x plus h f dash x plus and so on okay, there are many terms but first two terms so I want that's why I have written Taylor's expansion up to two terms so what is required here f dash of x is required see f of x plus h is root of x plus this is x plus h function remember f of x plus h is root of x plus h therefore f of x will be what just you remove h from the right both the sides f of x is this and what is required f dash x is required f dash of x derivative of root x is 1 by 2 root x now putting value here f of x plus h is root of x plus h and fx is what root x plus h into f dash x is what 1 by 2 root x to be expanded given function in ascending powers of h now up to two terms up to two terms first two terms in the expansion of this one see if you look at this function very carefully this function is f of x plus h function that f of x plus h is log of cos of x plus pi by 4 expansion of first two terms in the uh, expansion of this in ascending powers of x i want see the difference between this two here we have expanded in ascending powers of h. Here we are expanding in ascending powers of x. Okay, what is the Taylor series then? Taylor series f of x plus h. Yes, why did I equate this with f of x plus h? Because we have x plus h factor. h is pi by 4. In ascending powers of x now. In ascending powers of x, how do you write? f of h. Replace x by h now. x into f dash of h plus and so on now here in this problem h is pi by 4 f of pi by 4 plus x into f dash pi by 4 plus and so on yes, what is required f of pi by 4 is required and f dash of pi by 4 is required now we are letting this one f of x plus h is what f of x plus h is equal to what log of this one 
therefore f of x is what log of cos of x only and what is required f of pi by 4 is required to put x equal to pi by 4 and cos pi by 4 is what 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 can be written like this also or you can keep as it is and log of root 2 can be written as 1 by 2 log 2 also so f of pi by 4 is required f dash pi by 4 what is fx fx is this one take derivative of fx f dash x derivative of log, uh, log of cos x is what it is minus tan x put x equal to pi by 4 because we are interested in f dash pi by 4 minus put x equal to pi by 4 tan pi by 4 is 1 minus of 1 into okay so these two values f of pi by 4 value you can put here f dash of pi by 4 value you can put here that now very 13 first two terms in expansion of this in ascending powers of x if you look at this function very carefully here this is x plus h function so what i am going to do let us denote it by f of x plus h this is x plus 2 raised to power 5 plus 3 x plus 2 raised to power 4 ok you don't forget that h is 2 and f of x will be what ok you can write here f of x plus h like this also h is 2 then fx will be what x raised to 5 replace x plus 2 by x uh, 3 x to the power 4 now we are expanding ascending powers of x and first two terms I want the Taylor series I am writing what is Taylor series in ascending powers of x now f of x plus h is equal to f of h plus x f dash of h plus x square by factorial to f double dash of h which is not required because up to two terms okay, we are interested f of here h is 2 in this problem now what is the requirement of this series f2 is required so you can find out value of f2 by putting x equal to 2 put x equal to 2 2 raised to power 5 is 32 3 times 2 raised to power 4 is 16 you know then 48 48 plus this is what 80 what is required f dash of 2 is required yes for f dash of 2 take derivative of f, fx f dash of x is for derivative of x to the power 5 derivative of this is 12 x raised to power 3 and f dash of 2 is required put x equal to 2 5 into 2 raised to power 4 12 into 2 raised to power 3 now this is equal to what 2 raised to power 16 into 5 80 plus 2 raised to power 3 is 8 and multiply by 8, 12 12 into 8 96 and this is what 176 putting those values here f of x plus s means f of x plus 2 is this one f of 2 is what 80 plus x f dash of 2 is what 176 plus and so on. there are many terms ok this is the answer to this problem what we have done this we are expanding in ascending powers of x up to two terms only now very quickly next problem first two terms in ascending powers of x in expansion of this the, this problem and the previous problem is same here h is minus 1 only you try to solve at your own this problem the previous and this problem is same only plus 2 is replaced by plus 2 is replaced by minus 1 that's all now first two terms in ascending powers of x minus 2 in ascending powers of x minus 2 now x, x minus a type what is the expansion f of x function of x no? this is fx in ascending powers of x minus 2 we are going to expand and 2 is what a f of 
a plus x f dash of uh, x minus a into f dash of a plus x minus a whole square by factorial to f double dash of a and so on. For we are interested in first term. Here f x is what e raised to power x. In this problem a is what two f dash of two. Infinite series up to two terms. And what is the requirement of this series? F two is required. F dash two is required. Now f two and f dash two I am writing finding here separately. Let f x equal to function e to the power x. And this implies f of two is what replace x by two e square. F dash of x is derivative of e to the power x is e to the power x same. And f dash of two put x equal to two again e square. Okay, so put f two is e to the power two plus x minus two. F dash two is e to the power two and so on and so on. Okay, this is the correct answer to this problem. Next, first two terms in ascending powers of x minus one for the function tan inverse x. Here, I am going to solve it very quickly. f x equals tan inverse x. The same formula. Then f. This implies here a is one. The f of one put x equal to one tan inverse one is pi by four. F dash of x derivative of tan inverse x is one by one plus x square. Here f dash of one is one by one plus one square means one by two. And what is the formula? This is the expansion of function in terms of x minus a. So here this formula I'm using f x equal to Here a is one. Here a f of a x minus a f dash of a plus and so on. Just putting values here. F x is tan inverse x. This is the expansion of tan inverse x in ascending power of x minus one. And f of one is pi by four plus x minus one f dash one is one by two. Next problem. Next problem is of the now here we have tan inverse x here we have sin inverse x here we have a equal to one here we have a equal to one by this is for you this is for you and derivative of in time giving derivative of sin inverse x is what one by under root one minus x square and derivative of this will be what again derivative of this again. Only in time given, in time given, derivative of one by this can be written as one minus x square raised to power minus one by two, and derivative of x to the power n my n n minus one, and derivative of argument one minus x square is minus two x. We have to write this two x cancel minus minus plus x multiplied by one minus x square power minus three by two. If this is f for f dash of x, and this is f double dash of x. Okay, only one single derivative will be required. Now, first two terms in ascending powers of x minus two. Here again, a is two. Same thing, a is two. Means what is the formula? f x equal to in ascending powers of x minus two. I have to expand f of a. Plus x minus a, f dash of a, plus and so on. Okay, this is Taylor series. What is function given to you? See here, what is function given? Two x cube plus three x square minus eight x plus seven. Okay, derivative of this f dash x six. Uh, you know, six x square. Six x minus eight. Now, f of two is required. So, what is f of two? Here I am writing f of two instead of here I write f of two is what two multiplied by two raised to power three, three two square minus eight into two plus seven. 
Now try to simplify it. 8 into 2 is 16. Then 4 into 3 is 12. This is minus 16. This is plus 7. And this is 19. Okay. F of 2 is 19. F dash of 2 is what? Put x equal to 2 here. F dash of 2. 6 into 2 square. 6 into 2 minus 8. I am writing directly. This is 4. 24. 24 plus 12. 36. And 36 minus 8 is what? 28. This is f of 2. What is f of 2? It is 19. Plus x minus 2. f dash 2 is 28. And so on. This is expansion of this function. This expansion of 2x cube plus 3x square minus 8x plus 7. In ascending powers of x minus 2 up to first two terms. And please remember, is all those sums I am taking here. But in examination, the little bit changes you may find. You don't expect that the same sums will be there in the exam. Now, last two problems very quickly. Just only I am going to give the hint. Expansion of sine inverse function. Expansion of cos inverse function. In ascending powers of x, in ascending powers of x. When inverse trigonometric functions are present, the here the derivative, higher order derivative will be very much difficult. So, what we will we'll do, we will substitute, we can substitute x equal to any suitable function so as to get the sign in this bracket. And once you get the sign in this bracket, sign inverse of sign will be the domain itself. Now, we know the formula, if you put x equal to tan theta, if you put x equal to tan theta, this formula we have. 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta is sin 2 theta. This sin 2 theta formula. No? So what I am going to do, sin inverse of putting x equal to tan theta here, 1 plus tan square theta and this is equal to by formula is sin 2 theta. Okay, anyhow, I have to bring sin here because outside sin inverse is present. Sin inverse and sin of 2 theta will be 2 theta only. And finally, theta is what? See, I am substituting x equal to tan theta. I am substituting, here I am writing x equal to tan theta I am substituting. And consequently, theta equal to tan inverse x. Okay, theta is what tan inverse x. And in the last step, put value of tan inverse x here. Tan inverse x value is given. See, 2 into this value. Expansion of tan inverse x here. Similarly, this problem. Here, in cos inverse for problem, you put down the value of x such that this bracket will be cos because cos inverse is outside. Now, substitute x equal to cos theta and theta will be cos inverse of x it is very clear inverse huh? then cos inverse of this function 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta is it is equal to uh, cos theta this is theta no? this is theta then cos inverse of this is theta 4 cos cube minus 3 cos theta is what? cos 3 theta. This is trigonometric formula. And cos inverse of cos of theta, theta will be 3 theta. And finally, you have to put, put value of theta which is cos inverse of x. See, theta is cos inverse of x. And in the last step, the expansion of cos inverse x you can substitute. What is the expansion of cos inverse x? pi by 2 minus x plus x cube by 6 plus 3 by 40 x to the power 5 and so on. Okay, this is the answer to the problem. The final answer to this is the expansion of this one. Okay. Now we stop here. Uh, hope you understood it. Uh, you Once again I am going to repeat. If you don't expect that the same problems will be there in the examination. A little bit changes may be there. We stop here. Thank you very much.